Okay. No, no. no. So, really, what um, class? Because we're going through it. Mm -hmm. The Classic app, you just you go into your launcher, this is where all your apps are, you just tap on Classic, it will actually launch the product. Uh, this is a product from a company called Motion Apps um, that we worked with so they could, they could bring the emulator to the web OS. Uh, helpful if I hit the right icon when I do it. Well, that's Google Maps. <laughs> um, but if you, oh, no problem. So as you bring up the uh, emulator, and again, I was, I was mentioning earlier, it just seems a little odd coming back and having WebOS on, uh, or uh, having OS on WebOS. Certainly. But going through, I mean, you have your standard, you've got a five-way control. Actually, I keep in mind. Here. You have a five-way control that you can navigate through. You have a center key, so if I want to launch anything, I just do a center press, just like you do with it on hardware. Mm -hmm. I have a home button to go back to it. Applications can map to any of those buttons as they're going through. Um, we give you either you can go up here and cl click and get your menu, or you have a menu icon on the bottom. Again, he tried to when they went through and made it, they tried to make it as simple as possible to put this in place. Um, really, how the I'll just go up to it. So clicking up here, what we did is for to get applications onto the device, we actually give you access, and it's called internal, to our internal um, flash on the device. Mm -hmm. So you would actually plug this into a the micro USB. It acts like a flash drive, and you just drag your PRCs over into the internal memory. So it would still have file access to everything else. On yeah. The so device. yeah. So you, yeah. And the way it's going through is you, we put it in there so you can actually grab the grab the content on it. Um, as we're going through, um, one of the apps we we work with on it is a company called Hippocrates. This is a medical application, and this is. I think it's a $150 plus application that doctors use all the time. We brought it over. It does over there updates on it. We had them change nothing from what the version they had in the center was. Wow. And it just came, we just dragged it over in the folder, um, lit it up. Uh, this allows you to go through if you're going to go through and say, I'm searching for things like aspirin. It lets me go through and it's basically a list of, <laughs> list of medications that you can go through. If I want to view one, I just click on it. Really, what the capabilities was, it lets you look for dosing, lets you look you for things that are uh, any warnings on it, anything you shouldn't do when you're taking the medication. And if you just want to, you can either scroll up and down. Again, it's the scroll bar moving things around. So, basically, a fairly fully featured on just any of the apps that you're walking through. So, seems pretty pretty snappy. And we definitely we one of the things we have because of the underlying hardware for the pre, we have a much better processor going through, and and we're seeing performance overall on any application running in it is much better than we've seen in the past. So we're quite happy it's leveraging all the capabilities we put into the device and being able to bring them back to applications carry over. So is there some sort of hot sync functionality or how would I load my Palm OS apps yeah. on so it? So the way you would load them on there, there's not a hot sync. We have a compatibility mode, so if you need a hot sync ID for some applications, we let you set it and that's sort of the, the hot sync piece. Mm -hmm. and it's, but if you have an application, all you do is, again, you, you plug it in, it acts like a, a thumb drive. And you just drag your PRC that you want to have over, drop it into that the folder on the um, device, and it actually will pop up in the internal memory. Very cool. So and again, it's it's a card, so so you can multitask yeah, with so other web OS. I can go up to any other web OS app, and you can basically keep going through. So I'm, I'm basically can go through, bring up my email, do whatever I'm going to have in here, go back and go so, back to the emulator. So is the classic application, is that leveraging the standard Mojo SDK stuff or is that going deeper? So we actually had, so we've gone through, it, it, it's built and using a lot of the Mojo SDK. I think we've gone and added a couple things in it to, to make sure it works better with the overall product. Um, but definitely doing work with them to make sure everything's, everything's set up and working properly. Eight gigabytes on the device. Right. How, how is the compatibility with existing apps and games for Palm? So OS? we've been doing a lot. So we've I'm going through different things from Astroware, so Jewel or whatever. We're not seeing a whole lot of differences on it. The the main parts we've been looking at, and it's just as you're doing any development, we're just, we're trying to find debugging things as we get the more complex applications. In terms of Hippocrates, we just dropped on the central setup file, clicked on it, did an over there download of the product onto the device, and had it light up. So. Cool. So this is 